Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create the new models in Discord since it was requested by actually multiple people in the Discord server. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. So I don't have that much of time because I only have one hour left before I go to school. So um, yeah, let's do this quickly. Uh, so I'm not going to use Discord.js, the official package, I'm going to use this one. Okay, uh, it will be much simpler for you all to understand it since my videos are mostly targeting the beginners. So uh, it's a package, I just saw it right now. I, I didn't even have the time to read, to read it all. So yeah, let's just install it and start using it. Also, something I forgot to say, um, in all of my latest videos into the uh, per server prefix, I had an issue here in the message create.js. So I had something here, I had this as return here, and I had return here and here. Okay, and that's wrong, okay, now it will not reply. So what you need to do is basically, yeah, just simply remove these returns. Okay, so as it says here in the package, I need to require it and do like this basically. So let's do that by going here and doing um, const discord models models equal require. Yeah, I should have recorded that a bit earlier. Oh, I woke up a bit earlier because yeah. Right now, I have no brain. So yeah, uh, I'm even checking the spelling of it. Like, yeah, I actually need some more sleep. Anyways, um, let's come over here and do uh, this client. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess that's all we need to do here. Uh, Alright, so... One thing you have to do uh, to know that a model have a title, a custom ID, and a component, which is uh, the place where we type stuff. So yeah, now we, as you can see that components uh, or the text input have multiple uh, multiple things as well. Okay, uh, which are the ID, the style, short or long, and a label a minimum length and a maximum length a value okay and a placeholder so let's take a quick look here that's how we basically create it so let's actually create a new uh, I'll not make it a slash command actually because yeah let me also remove this I'll make it as a normal command because why not let's, let me make it in information actually let's just call it model js so slash top here let's do model don't need this line okay so uh, this should be discord models and here we should have models and text input okay model text input Okay, so uh, let's see if actually this Copilot can uh, get out Copilot can get this. Okay, uh, let's do const model. Okay, is that how we do it? No, it's not. Okay, never mind. A uh, new model, and actually, let me just copy this. Okay, uh, let's just make it a bit uh, organized. Ok, 
Okay. Okay, so components let's have here the text input. This is a variable. We didn't define it yet. Okay. So uh, let's define it. Let text input equal this. Okay. So we either have a short or a long, as I said earlier. So label, let's say, sorry for that. Okay. Let's say, uh, What's uh, uh, what's your name? Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, okay, let me just keep it like that. Um, yeah, write your name here. Okay, write your name here. Okay, amazing. Uh, I'm not sure. If this can be done on messages or it's only for interactions, let me check. Oh yeah, it's only for interactions. Yeah, okay. I don't actually mind that. I didn't even know that. So yeah. Let me just create one here real quick. All the way down, okay. <clears throat> okay, model, sorry for that. Description asks for your name. Okay, uh, into our slash commands here info model of yes slash command model. Let's paste that cost model. Okay. Uh, okay, that Discord copilot thing gets me confused a lot. Is it model or models? Models, okay. And we will need to import show model. Okay, hoping that my voice sounds a bit better now. Uh, so here I'll just do like this. Interaction will be enter. Okay, that's how we will send the model. The client will be client with a capital C, uppercase. Okay, model will be model. Okay, pretty easy, isn't it? Okay, no dot. Let's do slash model. And here. This form will be submitted to v13, which is my bot's name. Do not share passwords or other sensitive information. Okay, write your name, ultra x. Okay, here should be between 4 and 10. So, if I type more, it doesn't let me, as you can see. Uh, let me type name here. And done. As you can see, nothing happens. See? Because we need to handle it so uh, once uh, once we install the package we got a new event called uh, model submit okay let me create it actually uh, he events let me move this here model submit JS yes. okay let me get the first line not this here get this one and let me copy this there okay much better now um, I actually don't know what is what does this do okay uh, but we get we can no, actually, like, why not? We can just search for it later because I don't actually have time right now and I didn't even want to record, but I did it anyways because my channel is basically dying and yeah, it's just dying, which doesn't make me happy. And what is wrong with the spacing here? Okay, let's just keep it how it was. 
okay uh so hey it says reply model of reply okay let's actually change it to uh like thank you for submitting your name okay and this is how we can make it uh ephemeral okay but yeah let's uh, let's just do this Okay, an error. Uh, client should be uppercase scene. Okay, seems fine. Uh, let's do slash model ultra x. Okay, submit. There we go, it's done. So that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe and to leave a comment down below what you want the next video to be. That's it, and ciao.